Hello guys, I just want to share with you something that I uh, discovered now recently. Um, I created um, like an app in a application, desktop application creator. I'm gonna show you guys, this is the files that is populated on my, on my desktop. I'm gonna make an example tutorial of the video files, okay? So I'm going to delete these files just to show you. Right, I'm gonna head over to the application and close the application completely. Okay. So this is the interface. We're gonna get back to the script in a moment. This is the interface. This is the app I created. Okay, it's like a um, assets assets uh, uh, application where you can download assets, but you need to log in via the PC. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff with this application guys I, I'm gonna show you this is really helpful I'm just taking you through the basics and showing you the interface what I uploaded what I added to the application but to be honest with you guys you only need the script and if you have the script in the application the creator the app creator and then you have this application okay I started the app up now I'm, just, I'm gonna use the onboard key uh, board so that you can see what I'm typing okay let me just go to the directory folder there's the directory where the, fo the files is going to be populated so this is the login form you need to add you need to insert your information that is the information you get maybe by by a license or you can um, let the put the, the, the the customer purchase the license or key by you which has a password in okay this is not for a user account this is just so that people don't download your products okay um, I'm gonna use it for mods I'm gonna show you why just see, just check when I press the download button I'm gonna use the on I'm just gonna minimize the keyboard and I'm gonna put this one side okay there I press the download now it populated the software file for me but it's not all it will all populate all the files within that folder that I put in the script as you can see there okay there's the image folder and now it's populating files inside of it okay there's the video file folder now it's adding videos but only one video at this moment because I'm gonna let me just show you there's the files okay okay if you press again and the files already exist this is the method it will show you I have found the same folder and it wants you to update that file in that folder and file okay you can update it or you can cancel it's up to you but the moral of the story is guys as you can see that I populated files with folders inside which can be your game mods that you uh, direct put the directory straight as you can see there's the directory where I want the file in the folders the folders and the files to to be populated okay so this is the interface let me take it to the script this is the script as you can see there I know nothing about creating apps guys this application is so simple it's so easy to use I mean it took me a couple of hours it's just drag and drop the script I got from YouTube there's a, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can go to that guy's channel it gives you a lot of advice on how to create apps okay I just took this script and I created my own so this is what I do I take that I take a piece of the script okay then I just add I'm gonna show you I'm just gonna show you just add one my name is 3 d Mr. Tutorials I know I'm in gaming and creating models and stuff but this is really helpful for you guys because you can also use it in your game in the game industry like I said I'm gonna use it to so that um, I can inject mods to my to my games 
via the internet where a person can download the mod in a rare file open it and that the, 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 the person can deploy that files on his own ok just by pressing a button so the next step now is to show you first you see this you need to rename all of these uh, letters here I, I use letters you know you want your website or your application to run fast on a PC don't use big words that you can't even pronounce yourself that is just a bunch of bull guys you can use symbols you can use uh, like you see numbers here just a uh, letter and a number it's quicker for the system to read that you know and to index that file and to save it and it makes your file uh, 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 database much smaller and very lightweight in your app also you want your peop the people to download your app so don't give them one gigabyte you can give them a 24 megabyte or maybe a 24 kilobyte application that does a lot you know just add hyperlinks you don't need to upload software to your server server only gives you up to minimum size of i saw 450 megabyte space for your website to run okay so that is not enough you can deploy your app on the server but put a lot of hyperlinks in less images just straight to the point you know or let the person download the the file like a standalone file offline and you can download the 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 the, 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 the mod or whatever you want me if you can see this concept it's really helpful i'm gonna give you the script i'm not gonna give you the project you just need to open the script within your application um, you just add a button right you can work from there this is just a button a click guy script and it does a lot because when okay when you download the script you can go through the script and you will see it's very easy like I'm telling you now, you know I'm not a scripter, I don't use script in my games but I mean this, I don't know what type of scripting is this but it's very easy, it's like writing a letter to something for someone and you know, and it's responding so now I just paste, paste the, 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 the snippet inside of the script okay, it's like copy and pasting but I'm just changing some values as you can see there that is the D function, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna paste it right, and I'm leaving that open quarters there so that I can know where the, the snippet start and where it ends because it's going to be a very long ride down ok, I would like to deploy a bunch of stuff like readme files, you know uh, hyperlinks taking you to different uh, social media uh, applications I have online or like selling my stuff whatever you know advertising you know you can even advertise for Airfly put some banners on this uh, application that that can uh, run and they can um, track it because you get snippers where they can track your, your application so whenever a person use that application I promise you guys man you need to download this app just play around with it I played around with it like I said two three hours and this is what I came up with and I mean for a person that don't even know scripting I'm not into uh, uh, creating applications but games now I can create applications so that my games can also uh, uh, be deployed with that application and that is how you grow you know in this market of gaming, game developing, you need to be versatile, you need to be creative, that is doing your own art, creating your own models, you need to be persistent on what you are doing by being creative, that is creating your game and continuing until it's finished. And then step three, that's the most important step, do it because you love it, don't do it because of the fame and the money and that is gonna lead you to a dark alley, I promise you that. 
So my name is 3 ds Tutorials. If you are still following this video, I'm showing you an app that I created on my desktop. I deploy this app on my desktop anytime I want to, so that I can see how it, how it works, how it functions. So far I've been busy for two hours on this app and I created this application. It's done guys. I'm just adding now whatever I want to by uh, uh, creating my own snippets, changing them out and putting them back into the, to the script, building the script up so that I can have a nice interface and a nice foundation where my application can run on. This is not for for hackers guys you can do a bunch of nasty stuff but this is educational so whatever you do with the script at the end of the day it is it's, it's on you you know but i'm telling you now you can do a bunch of nasty stuff with the script by downloading letting people download something that is like manipulative it's you say it's a game but it's not whenever they like click on the, the download button it deploys files to their system or to their phones they don't know about and verse vice you can by telling them to accept the terms or exiting closing a button it deploys another JSON file that deploys whatever you installed on that system okay so by just pressing a button the user is infecting or injecting stuff to the system without knowing this is the type of script that i created and i think there's some of the snippets i'm gonna take out so that you can that is the part where i saw how you can manipulate people or you know do some nasty stuff on the internet with those applications but I'm gonna take out that snippets because I created that that was my dark side of thinking I don't, I'm not gonna use it like I said I'm into gaming I'm not into deploying applications I'll show you how to use the application or if I create more apps like this I'm gonna show you at the end of the video I did um, create a registration form that also gives you the information sheet at the end to show you what the user entered his name, email and all that context and you can save that file to your PC or your directory where you can read it you know and all of that awesome stuff but for now this is the application I'm busy with I'm showing you gonna leave a link in the description so you can download the script um, yeah and there as you can see there's the three videos I only had one only one was deployed so I added two more so you don't need to add those videos you can add anything guys I promise you you can add up to ex.exe files extract files you can create basically anything those files I'm creating is empty you know I'm doing it like file document file text file dot you know all dot mp4 or dot png or dot raw and then you get a dead um, icon it's just an empty icon okay so so far that is what i did guys there's the files you can do whatever you want to like i said you can deploy games you can deploy viruses you can deploy malware and i'm don't i'm not in, I'm not encouraging you to do that I'm just pointing out what you can do with this application um, you can even make media players like uh, music ch ch uh, jukebox player media video players like pot player VLC there's a bunch of things in here I'm gonna make a video of the interface showing you the icons and all of the stuff you can use um, the mechanics and all of that okay there's a bunch of stuff here but don't let it it, uh, it looks intimidating but i promise you it's not i did it i haven't gone to school or college to do this 
it's just basic drag and drop play around with it you'll see the functionality and you'll get an idea will pop up telling you this will fit in there that will fit in here you know and at the end of the day this is what i got this is from a small snippet script i just typed it from the screen youtube a guy on youtube is busy with this i don't know how to pronounce this application ox ox joe or axo joe or joe joe but th that is the application it's a desktop application desktop creator it creates applications for desktop i think for android also yes it also creates for android mac and, and, and linux users I'm busy with a and HTML, HTML, HTML5. So yeah, um, you can build your own website, make your website interactive. Everything can be hovering and swiveling, and you know, yeah. So I'm gonna deploy this. There's the script. As you can see here. It's not a lot. It's just a info sheet right. one directory okay. what am i doing now i'm looking for something i'm looking for something okay okay my name is 3 dms tutorials i'm in a desktop app creator application I downloaded from the internet uh, I got the source from YouTube okay there was a link in a YouTube video so I just took a gamble downloaded it played around with it for a few hours two to three hours and so I created it myself a, a nice um, registration form with information sheet okay like I said it is the script it ends at uh, number 6 empty it ends there you can write down the script but like i said i'm gonna leave a link in the description for the scripts you can download the script i just want to check something here okay. there's the script it ends there you can write it down or you can download it from the description box below right it won't deploy because I have saved it it's now in a different directory that is also something we need to talk about guys ok opening the project it's not gonna help I'm gonna show you now right I'm opening the project and I'm going to try to deploy the project and there you go this is a fresh inter installation ok let me just add um, my name but my real name but my aka tutorial name for my social media accounts Rudy Rudy tutorials okay the A is just for fun the model initial anyway alright I'm gonna show you now let me just fill out this form one, two, three, I'm male. I'm gonna choose some of these items so that you can see that these are the ones I chose. You press OK, there you go. As you can see, you get the information sheet, tutorials, a root, Rudy mail. I chose games, models, tutorials. OK. Let me close that application. You see? There you go. OK. It does do some funky things because why I'm gonna tell you in the next video why it's not the app it's me you need to be very uh, neat you have to keep your hierarchy neat you have to do everything according to what the app tells you go to the help me files it tells you the how to name your files because that is very important giving your files the wrong name it's a no-go I'm sorry for that it won't work then you think you did something absolutely wrong but you didn't just read the help me files there's some names there like I, I showed you there in the text file I use D1 or A1, A2, A3 when I go to the next item a different uh, asset I name it maybe like you know B1, B2, B3, B4 
I don't give it the name and that is where the index is clashing on the internet and thank you for watching this video guys I hope to see you in the next one